Hey guys, this is Steven again. In this tutorial, we are going to be working on rollover buttons using CSS and HTML. Uh, I already have a tutorial on making rollovers using Flash, but I prefer using this instead of Flash on my websites. Uh, to be doing the coding, I'm going to be using PSPad. It's a uh, freeware uh, program. And you can either use that or Notepad++ or Notepad, whatever, any text editor. I just like the way this looks. So to start this off, I went into Photoshop and I made a quick design, quick button design. And if you notice something different, I have, you know, this is the original state of the button. And this is what it's going to look like when you roll over it. And then I exported this into three different images. Here they are right here and I have about contact and home and on the bottom is one image and when you roll over it's going to go to the top image and we're going to do that with some coding alright let's go ahead and jump on over to PSPAD and let's make a new file and the first one's going to be HTML and it already has this code right here and then we're going to make a new file and this one's going to be CSS okay now let's come over here and save this and we're going to save this as index.html and then save this one as styles.css um, and now we're going to want to come over to here and you're going to want to type this in one second let me copy it to save some time this right here just tells you that you're using the style sheet and this is the name of the file and the style sheet is going to be located in your root directory so if you've done any CSS you should already know all this so let's quickly do the HTML code for th three buttons first I'm going to make an unord unordered list with the ID of uh, navigation you can name it anything Oops, wrong kind of. Here we go. Okay, let's close off this unordered list. Okay, and now we're going to make the first button. So let's start off by making a uh, list, li, and then an anchor with the class name of. This is going to be the name of the button. So the first one is home. And then this is href is going to be the link that the button's going to link to. So for now I'm just going to put this so it's going to be a fake link that links to nowhere. And the tile is going to be home. And then we can close off the anchor and the list. Okay, let's copy and paste this two times because I have three buttons. So we're going to name this one about contact okay let's make this a little bit neater all right that's all the code we need in uh, HTML so you can go ahead and save that and come over to your CSS and let's make a quick comment that says like navigation okay now before this comment let's just change the background color to a uh, light green color so just do your simple CSS tags and <coughs> I'm gonna do background color let's see I wrote this down 708 C83 and that's gonna be a light green color and our first one is gonna be the idea of navigation and then the width is going to be 255 pixels what this is is the distance from here to here is 255 pixels and then the margin I'm gonna just put margin oops forgot to end this I'm just gonna put zero auto and that's going to center it okay the next one is going to be more specific UL navigation. So the unordered list, 
called navigation and we're going to go list style none and that's going to remove the bullet the bullet points so oops then now let's do a unordered list navigation and then li so again we're just targeting more display uh, inline which is going to make the buttons layout horizontally instead of vertical okay <clears throat> and then let's see let's do ul navigation li and then a for targeting the anchor and then let's do text indent and you're going to want to skip this part if your buttons don't already have text on them. This is going to throw off the text to negative 9,999 pixels. Just some really great number. So you don't get any problems. So display block height 42 pixels. Now I'm going to stop here and make sure you put the height is going to be half of what your image is. So right here I have 84. You want to put the height as 42 because we're only going to display half of this image. When I was preparing for this demo I was pulling my hair out trying to figure out why this wasn't working out. And then I took a break from this. <laughs> a couple hours later I come back to it and realized it was because I didn't put this as half of the image size. So make sure, make sure you put this as half. So now I'm going to put the float left. It's going to make all your images float to the left side. Okay. Let's uh, start targeting our buttons individually. So we're going to do UL navigation LIA dot home. And this is going to be our home button. As you can see, A, the anchor class name is home. Okay. LIA home. And now you're going to want to put uh, width is 84. This is the width of your image. This one image from here to here. Mine is 84 pixels. Okay, now I'm going to call up, you know, the background image, which is going to be that uh, that image, the button image. So it's an images button underscore home dot png. And this is a, another important part. One second. We're going to have no repeat. Scroll center bottom. So, what that's saying is it is going to show only the bottom center of this image, so the bottom half of this image. And that's all that we want to be seen at the moment. Because once you roll over it, then we'll show the top center. So, you can go ahead and copy this. What we're going to need to do with three times, well two times, two. We're going to name this to about and change this about contact um, actually the width for my home is 86 pixels 84 for about 85 for contact I probably should have done that neater, cut it out neater so they're all the same size, but whatever. Um, and now we're going to do the hover state of this, of these buttons. So right now all we have, I'll preview it, uh, let me pop up uh, Firefox and then let's preview this and I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to drag this index.html into here. So right now we just have these images and you can see the buttons are lining up perfectly, but when you roll over it, it does nothing. So let's do the hover state of these buttons. And what that is going to be is UL navigation LIA dot home colon hover. And we're going to want to do this three times. Uh, one more for the uh, about page, then the contact. So let's come over and change this to about contact get rid of this last comma 
and then the code for this is going to be background position top center so that's saying that the change the view to the top center let's save that and refresh this and it should work for you if not <laughs> check over your code make sure you put the correct image height and that's it for now I uh, hope this wasn't too hard to follow and sorry for making it a little bit longer than normal but it's great information see you next time